All right, how's it going, guys? We are back, and today is going to be a big one and a long one. So buckle in and get ready for a nice long video, because we've got some figuring out to do. Uh, I'm going to save bullets for last, um, but we need to look at all of these things up here. Now, we know we're going to want this. So let's move this down here. And uh, we're going to have at least two more of those. So let's leave a little room. We'll start about here. I need to get some more of these assemblers because I seem to be about out. Uh, we know we're going to need this for these. We're going to need these for a bunch of different things and that's kind of why we're having a long one today because we're going to try to get all the things that kind of go together with that done. And we're going to start doing the new trains today. I already brought stone in. I have it coming in over here. I don't know if it's actually... I think I was missing a train. So let's actually go check on that. Since it was above the uh, coal mine here, I went ahead and put it out one further and had it come in here. Alright, so train, wagon, and we want this for stone pickup, full cargo, stone drop off, empty cargo, and go. Alright, so that'll bring our stone in here. So now we need to look at what all needs to be built off of that line. And I kind of want to try to put these together somewhat, I guess. So everything over here we're still going to need, which is iron mechanical, iron beam, and copper plate. For that one and then these are just iron plate and copper mechanical for both of them and then these are iron and copper so for this bit here we're just going to need one belt with iron mechanical and copper mechanical and one belt with iron plates and copper plates, and that'll take care of all of that stuff. So that'll be easy. And that's not going to be upgraded any further. Like, these here are going to have upgrades on them. We're going to end up with logistical versions of these that I didn't think about when I did this. Um, but if we put this here, we can move that over to that area, I think. And be just fine. Oh, wait a minute. I did say I needed an iron beam, too, didn't I? Yeah, we need an iron beam, iron mechanical. Okay. Let's just copy this out of here. I know I kind of, I'm kind of all over the board here, but... I just seen them and thought, well, that's something we can easily get done here. 
<clears throat> we're going to cut that and put it over there. And then like that. So we are going to need the... And we don't have iron beams. Uh, not really. We do have this, which is iron and iron. We could actually borrow off of this. This is not a bad idea. We can run this over and have it come in here. That'll take care of all the iron stuff we need. So we can have that go in there and there. And then we also need it there and there. Okay, that takes care of that part. Which we could have actually taken it. Yeah, we're going to do that. I just noticed we had it right there. Which is a hell of a lot closer. And it'll keep that area cleaner. Which we kind of want. Alright. And we have our iron beam and copper mechanical here. So we can just do this and bring it up off of that. And then that will take care of this one, this one, and this one. And then this needs it as well. All right, so that gives us everything we need for all of those. The only thing we're missing is the copper plate and we don't have copper plates in this area yet. You'll notice we're a lot cleaner throughout here. I got all of that mess removed. Oh, we don't even have copper plates over here yet. Interesting. So we're going to have to bring copper plates over here. All right. Well, give me a minute. Save a little bit of time. I'll go ahead and get this done and I'll be right back with you when we have our copper plate over here. All right, so we got the copper plates coming in now. Took way longer than I'd like to admit <clears throat> to get that all done. But it is now done. And I'm just looking at how I want to get this in here and I'm thinking and I don't really like that gap right there but I guess we're kind of stuck with it at the moment all right so we'll just take this and bring it in this way and then we needed copper plates for this one and I don't want to put my uh, things on the long ones, my outputs. So we're going to go ahead and just put that up to the top. And then we'll just have our outputs right like that. And we can have our input for this one on a long handled one as soon as it gets over here. And we want to keep these at 50 because uh, we need lots of them. And same with that one. And this one we're actually going to set to a hundred because I think that's what it keeps in a full stack all right so that takes care of that part now that we have those we're going to do a really important part here real quick 
because I am getting seriously tired of hand delivering this stuff. Which is, we're going to get this one done. I've been literally hand delivering stuff up here for this to get it taken care of. And I'm tired of doing it. And we need the um, iron and copper. We need stone, copper plate, and iron beam. And we've got like everything here we need. So we're going to go ahead and put this right here. We can have the copper plate go in from there. We can do another one of these. Uh, that's the wrong one. Rufus, we need... Uh, we need to run this one up. That's for the iron beam. And then the only thing we need is the stone, and that's what we're going to be working on for the next one. So let's go ahead and get that ran over here. Oh, schnizzles. And I probably will be upgrading this all to uh, red belts because we have lots of things that are going to need steel or uh, stone. But for right now, that'll be just fine. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this over here. To start making us stone furnaces and now we need to look at up here stone furnaces so there's nine things listed here which is boiler um, boilers needed for fluid boiler and steam locomotive and that's it um, I'm going to go ahead and do it because there's a good chance uh, we're going to use some of the fluid boilers, but we'll see. Um, we're going to need it for burning mining drills. That doesn't matter. Burner heaters we need for our solar towers. And that's it. We need those for solar laser towers, and that's it. So we will go ahead and automate those as well. Coke ovens, I'm pretty sure we're going to need more than what we have, so we'll get those automated. Distillation towers for sure. Fluid heaters, I think that's the only thing they need. And then the heat chemical plant, which we definitely need because those are needed for the regular chemical plant. And then steel furnaces, which are needed for electrical furnaces. So that's what we need to get automated into this. And what did I screw up over here? Oh, somehow we're missing one of these. Oh, because it's the bear mind the stupid gap. You made this stupid gap. Mind the stupid gap. Alright. And we may end up putting in multiple of these. Um, but for right now, we're just going to do this, basically. And we're going to have these output up here. 
I'm pretty sure we don't need a fast of that. And then we're going to have like all of these different things. So the first thing we had on that list, just trying to think of the order I might want to do these. I think we're going to do steel furnace and electric furnace first. Let's go ahead and grab this out of here so we're not making a crap ton of them that we don't need. Because, see, I had to do this, and I don't like that I had to do this like that. And like that, and like this, and like that, and uh, all the way to the next episode. Now, wasn't there something, though, that we needed the steel furnace? No, we only need that for the electric. Okay. So, we're going to do the steel furnace here, and then we're going to do the electric furnace here, and... We're going to have a drop-off box here for stone furnaces. And we're going to have this for making more of them. And we're going to set this one that it doesn't activate if stone furnaces is greater than zero. So we need it to be equal to zero, because then if we take these out of here, now it's active. Okay, so this is going to be my drop-off box for stone furnaces, but then this one can make them if we need them for this one. And the timing should be you know, three seconds, five seconds, so yeah, that's fine so then we can put that there which it does only need one so we'll do that go ahead and put that there and now we need steel beam and iron brick there but I want to see what else we're going to need down this line before we go doing that so we can try to put things in here and somewhat of an order that makes sense. Because remember, we're going to need that's not the right thing. Oh, didn't we also need oh yeah, we need the burning miner for that. So we're going to have to make the burner miner and then that for the stone miner and then that for the electric quarry and then apparently there's an excavator that will come after that. So that's just three jumps and nothing off of that is going to be built. So we can put that pretty much anywhere kind of like that um, except I think I want to do it one up that way we can have a line going through here and then if we need to jump from here to here yeah we can do it like that so then that gives us room to have a line in here for any such thing we need. So let's go ahead and get this one done next. So it's burner miner, stone quarry, electric stone quarry, and then that's the excavator that's going to be coming at the end. 
Let me get some more of these. I might as well grab some of those while I'm here. And that should be good. Okay. So for this, we need iron mechanical. We're just going to go ahead and... I think we're going to need all of those. So we need iron mechanical and iron plate. Copper mechanical and copper beam. And then iron mechanical, iron beam, and electric motor. Now we may need to like spread this out a little bit because I don't know we're going to be able to get all the stuff into each one of these so we might want to leave like two rows here I think that'll work that'll give us one input here and two input lines there and we hopefully can feed every one of these. Okay. <coughs> so what else do we have on this list that isn't going to be moved for anything else? The boiler was only needed for the fluid boiler because we're not going to be making the locomotive anymore. So we can go ahead and do the boiler and then the fluid boiler. And that's going to just need a pipe. That's going to need a pipe, a copper, and a steel mechanical. So we're going to need pipes in here. Which, we're going to have multiple things that are going to need pipes. Um, which is when we're going to bring this in. So, let's see what we're going to do. Uh, go ahead and put this in here. Okay. So the next thing we have, after the boiler, burning miner we already got, assemblers we don't need because they're used for nothing, burner heater is needed for the solar tower, and then the fluid heater is needed for nothing. Okay, so these will be easy and probably similar. It's going to need copper, steel, steel. And then this one needs um, pipe, steel, and steel. Alright, and this needs a pipe. So if we actually flip these around and we put the fluid one on this side, and the regular one on that side. And we can actually make this line probably the pipes. Is probably what we're going to send through there. And I'm not, I'm still not 100% sold that this is how we're going to do this, but it'll at least help us get everything set up and figured out a little bit here. So, distillation tower, and then there's an advanced distillation tower, and the distillation tower is going to take the pipe and the tank. So that'll probably be our next one. Um, where is the... There it is, distillation tower. And we're going to need the storage tank for that. 
So let's put that in here, even though it's not going to be using these. Because we're also going to need the storage tower for the tank cars. Is there anything else we're going to need these for? Distillation tower. Oh yeah, crystal growth. A special storage tank. Fluid wagon. Advanced chemical plants. Advanced oil refinery. Yeah, we're going to need those for a lot of things. So I think we'll do these in a separate area instead. And then we'll bring them in on a belt. So distillation tower, fluid heater. Is the chemical the only one we have left to do? Chemical and Coke oven. Yeah. Okay. So then we'll go here. And Coke oven is just... Coke oven I may even put back at the other end. So this is going to be the... Burner chemical plant. And then we're going to have the regular chemical plant that'll go there. All right. And the regular Coke oven is just going to take like stone bricks. So that's like the same thing as this one. So I think we're just going to put this off to this side. And then we can just do that. Is what I'm thinking. And we've got our stone bricks right here. So we can just bring that in like that. And just do the coke oven down here. That'll be fine for that. Alright, so let's start looking at what all we have and what all we need. So for this one we need iron mechanical, iron plate. We need none of that there and we need none of that there. <clears throat> so then if we just do iron and iron which we have right here <clears throat> into that one right there we can just bring this right up along here and over like this and then just have that bring what it needs right into there and then if we need this for something else we can run it along down through the bottom. That takes care of it, stage one. Then we need copper and copper. So we can put that on this one. We need iron mechanical and iron beam for that one. And we have no idea up there yet. Okay, so do we need, we need copper beam there? It looks like we don't really need copper beams for anything else. We only need the copper beam for this here. So I'm thinking we might do this similar where we just bring the copper beam in over here from the side. Do we even have copper beam down here yet? I don't think we do. I don't even know if we have copper beam in this area. 
uh, glass, ceramic, iron, iron, copper wire. No, we don't even have copper beam in this area yet because we don't use them for very much. What is it we actually need copper beams for? The oil refinery is going to need it. Our medium electricals are going to need it. The fluid boiler, I thought I looked at that. Rocket parts. Those are ducks. Okay. So we need it for this one and this one. Okay, well then that means that we can just put them on this line. <coughs> We're going to have to get them in here. And do we need copper mechanical anywhere down through this mess. We do need it there and we need it there. Okay. So then we're going to set up this one for copper mechanical and copper beam because those are done. Copper mechanical and copper beam will take care of that one. And then we'll use the copper mechanical on those as well. All right, so let's just bring this back here. And I need to get some undergrounds and I need to get copper beams sent in to this area. Um, where am I going? Undergrounds. All right, so give me another minute. I'll set us up another train thing to bring in the copper mechanicals, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so the copper beams are on their way in. I just set them up here, and we're going to have one more come in up here because I don't think we have... Uh, steel mechanical yet? Yeah, we don't. So I'll set that one in to come up here in a few minutes. I did forget to tell you, I moved this over here. This is the solar plant. Um, and filled in most of the rest of that water. So we now have more room here for this ladder if we ever need to add anything there and more room for other stuff if we need to. Um, but we need to have a discussion about this and we're gonna save that for another day. All right, so we need to get the copper mechanical. So we're gonna do this. We're going to grab off of here and over to here. And then that'll be our copper mechanical and our uh, copper beam. And we said we were going to have that one come in on this one which we need to go through to both of these. Why is that the wrong chemical plant? There we go. So that one does not need that. I wondered why that looked weird. Okay, and it looks like I am out of 
moving electric poles again. Um, I think I actually have some of those. Yes, I do. Which is also going to need our copper beams, so we'll have to use them for that when we set that part up. Let's get back down here. So we can now do one of those that will take care of that. And then up here we need iron beam and iron mechanical and electric um, motors. And now we don't need any of that for this one either. That one is just kind of being in an anomaly at the moment. And it may be for the rest of this. Um, what do we need over here? Steel. We do need the copper beam there. So let's get that into there. This one needs a fluid pipe, which that one needs as well. And then we need fluid pipe there. So I think we're probably going to bring fluid pipes down along that way because everything there is going to need fluid pipes. Um, and we have fluid pipes made over here. We could very easily send those right across underneath our science. Or we could just make a new area for them. I don't think we want to do a train. A train seems... I say a train seems useless when we're bringing a train from there to there to come to here. Um, the one good thing about training them over is it'll have us a bunch of them made up at a time. I'll think about it. But let's see. We now have these done. We just need iron mechanical and iron beam. And we have nothing else on that layer. So if we do iron mechanical and iron beam here. What do we need in this one? No, we need an electrical motor and electrical circuit. Okay. So then we can use that to do the electrical motor for that and the electrical circuit for that. That works. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll do this, and we'll bring this over, and uh, we need to do, just get this out of here for a minute. Yeah, we want to do, uh, actually, I think we'll do this here, this here, we'll do that that, that, I want to clear all these out of here, all right, that'll take care of that part, which means we pretty much made these two belts useless, except we're going to need iron mechanical and iron beam on this one so let's bring this down here and we technically can do a sneaky little bugger of this and we can set this for the iron mechanical we want the other direction. Get this 
and then we can do that and then we can do the same thing over here um sort of over here <coughs> get my butt out of the way and then we'll bring this over to this side put it there and put the iron beam on the top and there we go that gives us our iron beam and our iron uh, mechanical part and now that will get this done and now for this one seeing as how we don't have whatever's gonna go behind it we're gonna do that and we're just gonna copy this and put it why is that that's not the input what the hell I want this we'll put that there that'll give us I don't know why that's set for 60, it's supposed to be 50, and for this one I think we're just going to do like 10 or 20 at a time is fine. Alright, so that'll take care of that. So that row is now done, now we just need pipe, and we need pipe again with steel. So that means we're actually going to need... Um, we're not going to need this row at all, so we could technically move this all over one, uh, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that. So we need pipe and steel mechanical, which we can put on this row right here. if we just do this and I need to get rid of all of those so then we can do this and we can have this for the pipes coming into there and we also need steel mechanical and pipe here so that's good so we'll put the steel, um, wait a minute, yeah, we need steel mechanical there, we need steel mechanical there, and then we need steel beam here. So we'll set this one up for being steel beam and steel mechanical, which we need to get the steel mechanical actually in here and I screwed up with where I brought that stone across or I have to do this up here which is fine all right so and we can do this take steel beams off of here run it into that side and then we'll get the mechanical which we got to bring in here ah. where is my get the hell out of the way buttons. I love the explosives. Alright, one of these, one of those, that, and that. And we set this for steel mechanical 
off. Give it a train. Throw it some fuel. Set it up with fuel for now. And steel mechanical pickup. Full cargo. Drop off. Empty cargo and go. Okay. For some reason I was just having a issue in my brain thinking I did that for beam instead of mechanical. Alright, so now we want to run this down. Um, we have it set there, so we can run it right down alongside the copper here. Didn't I just pick up undergrounds? And we're up to like 45 minutes. So, I think I'm going to cut this into a two-parter and I will be back with you guys in the next one when we finish up all of our uh, stuff here and we'll definitely get wires done in the next one. So, see you next time.